Hey guys, T Rig Triple One here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a tree house. I got this from th the 13 story tree house series by Andy Griffiths, and I'll be making part of that. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna start off with a cube and then create it a f flatter and then that could be the ground. And then we're gonna get the trunk, which is gonna be a cylinder. And then we're gonna create the branches. And I'm gonna do the leaves last. And then we're going to make a couple of other branches. After that, you can copy them and create branches. Create some more branches. They don't all have to be in the same spot. They can all, they can be in different spots. And then we're gonna start creating the main shape. And then once you have the main shape, we're going to start building the, we're going to start creating the buildings. So we can get a cube and then we're going to have a different brown, which is basically a dark orange. And then we can create the rooms you want. The rooms can have whatever you want inside. You can make them whatever you want to look like. And then we're gonna get a root. After that, we're gonna get a rooftop. Create some details.
get the main shape of the building. After that, you can add some windows, which is basically um, a rectangular prism with some smooth edges. Make it blue. Blue or gray, doesn't matter. Copy the rectangular prism. Make it black. Copy it again to create the cross. And then chain the shapes together. Rotate it. And then add some windows. The windows don't have to all be the same. They don't have to all go on the same side either. And you don't have to cover up all the sides. Two, two or three is good enough. And then chain everything together. And then you have your main building. Put it on one of the branches. I put it on a area where there's two branches, so it looks like it's more supportive. Then you can rotate the branch so it looks like it's holding the building. Then copy the building, you can rotate it in whatever direction you want, you can change the size. And then copy it again. And then you can make a double building. So it looks like a, a nice place to relax. Chain it all up, do the same thing. After that, you can create a deck, which you can just get a rectangular prism, put it on something like this, make it bigger and thicker. And then we're gonna create the the fence. So we're gonna need to zoom up. We 
now we can connect all this together. Copy it again. And then create some kind of natural look. Connect that. And then that can be the fence around your deck. Then you can change the size of your deck to make it whatever size you want. Make a little gate and then connect everything together and then you have your deck. If you want, you can have this extra little room down the bottom. That is hanging by a chain or a vine. And then to create the chain, you can have these donut shapes donut shape kind of things and then create something like that and do that and then keep do it three times or something three four times three four five times doesn't matter We will add the leaves after. Just gonna do all this to get the main shape. Make your chains gray, shrink them down. Copy it, make it pretty long. Connect the two pieces together. Make it vertical and then embed it in so it looks like it's attached. Make sure it's not coming out the bottom. Put the chain now down into the middle so it looks like the gravity is putting it on a straight angle. And then you can add another one, another chain. Move the chains.
add a couple of chains to the building so they look like they're not going to fall off and they're stable. Once you have a reasonable amount of chains, you can add the leaves. The leaves are basically just a mixture of um, spheres and some other shapes. Shrink them down so they're small. Put them together. And then make the um, spheres a different color to the other shapes and then it will create this nice texture. And then after you've done the leaves, you're pretty much done. <laughs> 